a friend of mine who was a truck driver mentioned that you know going across the united states i just you just see fast food after fast food after fast food and he told me years ago there were family restaurants on the road it was possible to get a home cooked meal well that's not possible it, you know it's just not possible anymore most most of those places have been run out of business how could my great grandparents compete with the Hollywood celebrities that were telling me what to eat in my childhood. You know, I had Hollywood celebrities advertising orange juice, advertising fruit juice, advertising cereal, advertising alphabets. I mean, I love the Andy Griffith show. And I was watching an Andy Griffith uh, episode on YouTube where they're, they're pitching alphabets, you know. And of course, as a child, I'm like, Mom, I want alphabets. It's going to help me read, you know. Well, they didn't have alphabets, and look how they live. They didn't get diabetes. I have been loaded with so much fruit juice and crap since I was a little child. You know, again, too, I was taught, well, fruit juice is healthy. Fruit is healthy. Yes, fruit can be healthy. However, our ancestors didn't have a lot of fruit juice. You know, my great grandmother had coffee and cream for breakfast. She wasn't mandated to bring in fruit snacks and look how healthy she was. So when the teachers in the 1970s started telling us to bring in fruit snacks, nobody questioned them. They said, well, the teachers are telling me, the doctors know, da da da. You know, why didn't we listen to our ancestors? Well, there was so much advertising, so much nonsense. But now we can take our power back. There's nothing wrong with us. You, you don't see a cactus, uh, you know, and you take it to the Midwest and go, oh, this cactus is defective. No, this cactus is in the wrong environment. If you take this to the Midwest, it will die. So you and I are with these great healthy genes. And if I eat like my ancestors, I'm going to age like my ancestors. And they age so much better than current generations. You know, now fast forward, we're doing gastric bypasses on 10 year old children. You know, this is, this has got to, we've got to turn this around. And again, I don't, I'm not selling you anything I'm just looking at history going, hey, it's your birthright to be healthy. 